Hello, Palenta families. This is Christy Benson, principal at Palenta Elementary School, checking in after the first two weeks of online remote review learning. I first and foremost want to let everyone know how much we miss the students at Palenta. That has been the hot topic of discussion amongst all the staff is how much we miss seeing their faces each and every day up and down the hallways. We miss you. I also want to take this time to give a huge shout out to our staff for making this a reality. We could not have done this without them. Our support staff, our technology facilitator, and our media coordinator have worked tirelessly to ensure that all of our devices were distributed appropriately. Our teachers have worked so very hard on lesson plans to make sure that they were posted and ready to go as well as providing some online opportunities and we're going to continue to work to improve that and make that better and more user friendly as we move forward. I also want to thank you for your parents for stepping up and helping us out as well as giving us patience and grace as we have worked through this. This is new for everyone and certainly as uh, we're on a learning curve and and we have just worked so well together and I appreciate everything that everyone has done to make this a reality. Our spring break starts today, April 10th, and will run through April 17th. All offices and facilities will be closed during this time. However, when we come back on April 20th, we will begin new content of remotely and online. And I know that this has sparked some questions and some uncertainties as we move forward. And I wanted to take this opportunity to, to, to answer some some of those questions and to provide some clarity as much as I can as we move forward. So let's go ahead and get started. Question number one, will my child receive grades for fourth quarter? At this time, the answer to that question is no. Um, however, we are asking that and strongly encouraging students to participate in the learning opportunities because it does allow the teacher to, poo, to determine whether students are making progress with the new content that will be presented. Um, another question is printed packets for new practices and new content. When will they be available? I am currently waiting on direction from our district into how we will be distributing those. I, they, are, they are watching and working with the health department closely on how is the most appropriate way to distribute this. So information regarding this will be forthcoming. As soon as I receive direction and information on this, I will be communicating that with all of you. Uh, third question, is the work required? Currently, according to DPI, we cannot mandate that the work be done. However, we do strongly encourage it because it does prevent regression uh, over the summer. It will also help students stay on track and make progress. Teachers will be providing feedback. They are currently attending professional development on how to provide appropriate feedback online and, and via remote so that they are able to help students move through and work through new content. However, it is not mandated and we cannot require it, but we do strongly and highly encourage, encourage that. Another question that has been asked is how much time should my student be spending on the work? Well, there is just a suggestion for this and different students move at different paces. Um, so you, it, it would be a different amount of work to be completed each day based on the, the, the pace and, and the needs of your specific student. But for kindergarten through first grade, approximately 60 minutes of independent instruction and work should be provided each day with an additional 15 minutes of reading. Second through third grade, independent work should go um, not exceed 90 minutes with an additional 20 minutes of reading. And fourth and fifth grade is 120 minutes per day of independent work with 30 minutes of reading uh, additional. So this is just, just a, a suggested amount of time. Again, it should not exceed this. Uh, this piggybacks on the next question is what if I'm having a difficult time getting all of the work done? The answer to that question is do what they can do. And I also highly encourage you to communicate with the teachers. They do have um, daily office hours where you can communicate and interact with them. They continue to send them emails. And if, if, if for some reason there is a struggle or a difficulty in getting certain amounts of the work done, we certainly uh, can work through that and identify, the teachers can identify exactly what is crucial and, and what we need to focus on most. Again, different students work at different paces and that is okay. And that's why we have the teachers available. They will be providing some online opportunities. They will be 
providing some online instructional uh, times that students can tune in uh, so that we can work through this. This is a work in progress. We will be modifying this as we move through. We appreciate your feedback. Again, I appreciate your grace as well, as I said before, and so do the teachers, but we definitely want your feedback. If your child is struggling with anything, please do not hesitate to reach out to the teacher. We are here to help you and help your students uh, move through this in the most, in the most, in the smoothest way possible. So we definitely are here. And again, these times are just suggestions. If you find that your child is spending more time um, with the lessons, if you will contact the teacher, they can adjust the lessons in order Order to meet your and your students needs next question what will happen with EOG and assessment our governor has suspended all state assessments at this time so we will not be having end of grade test that is why we are asking and and, and requesting that all students as much as possible participate in the new content learning and and respond to the feedback that teachers will be providing so that teachers are able to determine if students are making progress through the new content that is being delivered uh, if my child needs additional help with the content will teachers be available absolutely yes they are eager to help all students as needed whether it be through a google meet a zoom session or a telephone conversation they are more than willing and 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 ready to help students with the new content and ensure that all students are making progress and, and getting the appropriate instruction that they need for the content and the curriculum that is being presented. Next question, if we have more than one child, can we work to make sure that Google Meet Zoom times are not overlapping? Absolutely, and thank you for asking this question. This is something that was probably not initially thought of as teachers have worked to make sure that they are providing online opportunities, but this is definitely something that we need to pay attention to and make sure that we are not overlapping for multiple grades so that everyone and parents included are able to, to attend to these sessions and all students are able to participate appropriately. So our PLCs will be working together as we move forward to ensure that this doesn't happen. Thank you for that suggestion. Kindergarten and fifth grade graduation. This has not been determined at this time. We are actually waiting on our district to determine if we are coming back as planned or if we will be extended. However, I do want everyone to rest assured we will be doing some kind of celebration at Polenta because we definitely want these milestones to be celebrated and we will be innovative and come up with a way to do the celebration. If we come back as planned, we will definitely be having these celebrations and we'll be getting that information out to you as soon as we have it. How do parents get consistent communication on lesson plans and or technical support if needed? Please communicate with us, communicate with the teacher. The teachers are working diligently to make sure that their dojos are up to speed and that they are, they are communicating with parents. If you need some assistance with dojo, if you'll just contact us here at school, our, our phone systems are open and can get you in touch with the appropriate people and we will work to help you in any way that we can. Um, if you need technical assistance, we will make sure that our tech facilitator is able to get in contact with you to help you with any needs that you may have moving forward. Will there be a syllabus for parents to follow? Yes, there are lesson plans and a syllabus uh, for, for parents and students as well. It's available on our district site under the online and remote learning, and it's under our school, and you can find that there. Teachers are also placing it on their Google Classrooms. Some are placing it, the link on their do dojo, and you can access it there. However, if you're having any difficulties or need any help with that, you can certainly contact the school. You can email the teacher. You can email me, and we'll work to make sure that we are getting you in touch and getting you the, the help that you need and the assistance that you need as we move forward with this. Next question, will students continue to receive special education and or related services? The answer to that question is yes, and your individual special education teacher or related service provider should be contacting you individually to talk about service times and what that will look like remotely and work through that with you on an individual basis. If you have individual questions, if you'll email the teacher or the service provider, or again, you can always email me and I'll get you in touch with the appropriate people and try to help you through that situation. So if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to us in regards to special education services and related services. 
And our final question, will teachers realize that students may be behind next year? And the answer to that question is yes. While we are making huge efforts to, to ensure that learning is continuing and that learning is taking place, we are also very aware that it is not the same as sitting in a classroom each and every day. And, and teachers will be very understanding in regards to that and be planning accordingly at the beginning of next year to ensure that we are getting students up to speed. And if there are any, any gaps or any missing content that they are filling in those gaps. So that is absolutely something that is being considered and taken into consideration as we move forward. I hope this question and answer session has been busy beneficial for you. I know that as we move and continue through this process that you will have more questions and more questions will arise as we present new content and work through this online and remote learning opportunity. I thank you all for your collaboration. I thank you for your patience as we work through this new platform. Thank you so much. I also hope you all stay safe and well and have a blessed Easter holiday. Thank you so much again. I appreciate all of you. I, we miss our students tremendously and can hardly wait for them to return back to school. Uh, it, is, it, is, it is so uh, hard uh, not to see them each and every day. Thank you all so much. On behalf of my staff and myself, we wish you all a very happy Easter.